Okay, so, uh, final? No, not really. I've got two parts left of this LP, presumably. So, uh, last time we uh, did the Stone Chip Age, and now we're gonna move on to the Last Age. I say this in quotes, uh, cause there's, uh, two more books. Uh, this is a book that we'll get to later. Just note what is at the very last page of, uh, this book. Uh, but for now, let's, uh, go into here. And this is the, uh, Selena Gage? Selenta Gage? I don't know. I don't believe this. No, this is Mechanical Age. I want... I want this age. Yeah, it looks like it's the, uh, Selentic or something. It doesn't really, uh, say in this age. So, but keep this in mind, by the way. Keep that in mind. We'll come to that later. Yeah. Uh, these, yeah, some ages, yeah. The books is very important. Reading is important, kids. Stay in school. Read books. Even if it's just like... Yeah, never mind. Uh, you'll notice that, uh, I forgot to, uh, change the tower rotation, so... Yeah. You'll notice I forgot to do the tower rotation. Come on. Surely the door can automatically close. go to this place. So you'll notice with uh, this place, the tower turns a lot. Just a little fun detail I thought I'd add. Yeah, this game really uh, is detailed when it wants to hit the button. When it wants to be. And not at all uh, when it doesn't. But anyway. I'm looking at you, bad graphics. Why is it that this, uh, I seem gotten taller than the storm? Also, there's a light there and you never noticed it. So we're just, you know, looking at a spaceship. Just don't question it. Mm. What I do find peculiar is the fact that I'm not seeing any other plaques. Anyway, 59 volts. That's the magic number, apparently. So, uh, whatever could that mean? Hint, it means something. Important. Oh no, I never would have thought. So, let's just, uh, hop through here and close the door first. And we go to, uh, get 59 volts. Now this age is probably the longest age, even longer than a uh, channel would. Uh, this age, however, a lot of people don't like this age, and you'll see why uh, eventually. But for now, let's just uh, f do 59 volts. So it's uh, this building here. the door. Wowzers. So we got this thing here. Power, power to ship. Uh, we need to get 59. And each button gives us a different amount. Like that one gives 16 and this one gives 10. Now if we hit all the buttons, you'll notice that once we uh, get too much, this thing kind of dies. But the max is uh, 99. We need 59 volts precisely. Anything over 59, and, well, we blow the fuse, so, yeah. Can you do some math? Ah, uh, math. Beautiful math. Yeah, there's 
nothing else here. So we blew a fuse, we've got to go fix it. Uh, we can fix it by going up here. And there's the sun, and there's a bird. I don't think I've ever seen that bird before. And maybe we just pull this down. I think. Maybe. Are there two towers? I think that's what I have to do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I have to do. Just pull that, it should fix things. Yeah, because right now we can't enter. We need 59 volts. 121 gigawatts! Er, what? Yeah, uh, 121 gigawatts. Great movie. No, the movie was... If you don't know that's Back to the Future reference, then shame on you. Anyway, this should have... No. No, it didn't. I messed something up here. Uh, this could be bad. I was pretty sure that we just had to, you know, climb this ladder and like pull this lever down. Maybe, do we, maybe we have to hold it. No. Okay, this is bad. Let me, I'm, I'm just gonna, not really cut, I don't know. Oh, right. I knew there was a, I knew there was something. I forgot about this ladder right here. I have to pull this one, and that should reset the fuse. And then you, I knew there was two towers you had to climb, and then I think you pull this one. You might not, actually. But you might only have to pull the first one. Uh, yeah, I think you only have to pull the first one. This one is irrelevant. Irrelevant to our, all Tsar's queries. Don't know. Don't ask. Anyway, we should have restored the power to the ship now, so... Let us enter! Yes. So you'll notice this one here just one. Uh, save that one for the last. So well, we need to get 59 precisely. This one is 22. Or 16. This one is 22. So let's just see what they all do. 19. 9. 5. 2. 7. I wonder if there's some sort of pattern here. 22 doesn't look like it, although there probably is. Fifty-three. Uh, this one was five. That was seven. It's eight. Yeah, I don't want to risk it. Uh, it's ten. Isn't there five somewhere? Which one was this one? Nineteen. This one was nine. 8 and 22 makes 30. I can do math. Um, plus, t plus 10. Plus 19. I'm pretty sure there's uh, multiple ways to solve that puzzle, but that one works. You know what, that's actually... No, I can't. This is a full screen game. Yeah, this is a full screen game, so it's kind of... Yeah. Anyway, that opens this thing. And in it, we have a thing. Yeah, this is another puzzle we have to solve. And we have a piano! Yeah. So, how good is your hearing? And can you memorize tones and musics? Because we gotta do some reading. This is a kind of a small book anyway. So we gotta press these in order, so uh... Let's see if you got, um, got C, yeah, I know my, I know my music, I swear. We got C, F, and then another C, no wait, C, C, D sharp, F, B flat, C, C, D sharp, F, B flat.
plant. I can remember that. Fun fact. I took piano lessons. Fun fact. That was like six years ago. Uh, so this one. So it went C, C, D sharp, F, F. So, remember this note. And then copy it over here. Uh oh. That would be a crash. back, and somehow we averted crashing, but let's just save just in case. Uh, cause saving is, is useful. <laughs> uh, so let's try this again. I complete, after listening to that for about five minutes, and by five minutes I mean one, uh, let's figure out what the actual note was. Okay, I've got it. So, uh, this time without the crash, we do... There, that one. Simple. So, this is a fun age. Uh, cause this age ha actually has to do with, uh, sound. Uh, there's a lot of sound puzzles, and it's also a puzzle that has nothing to do with sound, and it's really annoying. We'll be getting to that later. And we, we're done. And magically, uh, this thing glows colors, and a book appears out of nowhere. So let's take it. And poof! Linkage we are! Into this terrible place, and hey look, we're in like, exactly where we were before. Except we can't touch anything now. And whoa, the scenery has changed! Well then. Uh yeah, this place is kind of weird and awful. But anyway, our main goal is to go through here. Because this is a big old door. And what do we have? A train! Got a train whistle. Oh, well then, that was kind of belated. You will now listen to my chair squeak. Yeah, I need to oil this thing up. Uh, yeah, let's let's load this. And I'm gonna couple I resolve this puzzle. Okay, that took overly too long. I'm not quite sure what happened, but like it took me like at least five minutes to solve that puzzle again. But either way, let's actually uh save now. So we don't crash. And let's go exploring. So let's just go over here. Over yonder. So yeah, here's the blue page. So we got some water. Don't question it. Uh, we can go over here. We've got the sounds of, uh, yeah, beautiful, some beautiful sounds. We've got a clock. We have some weird port sounds, and we have over here a long, pa a long windy path. And I didn't click on the thing. Good job, me. Uh, well, let's just go see what happens if you don't click on the thing. So just go through here, and up here is a path to a thing. So we go here, 
me. We got this thing. So we need to find water. So yeah, we need to find, like, there's five satellites, and we need to find the water, like, the one that corresponds with each one. However... I'm fairly sure of that, because I didn't hit the switch, this one doesn't emit a sound. So let's just go confirm that theory. Get down the ladder. Beautiful shading. But look at that rust detail on the ladder. And by that I mean, oh look, there was a light switch the whole time. So yeah, there was a light switch here the whole time, and here we go. And apparently there are bats. Did you hear bats? Because I didn't. And there's a light switch on this end too. Either way, let's uh, go up the ladder and hit the button this time, because apparently this matters. Yeah, this is just the age of backtracking. Trust me, you'll see what I mean later. <laughs> this age is kind of awful. <laughs> Definitely not my favorite age. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate it, but I'm not liking it. It's just, yeah. But it does have nice day-night cycles. And by nice, I mean... Either way, uh, let's go find the uh, crack in the ground. It's so uh, somewhere over here. Mm -hmm. Now the clock. You'll note how each of the uh, different satellites that we're positioning is actually at a different Y value. And wow, that is very orange. What? <laughs> okay then, not gonna question what just happened. one is somewhere. So we need to listen we need these in the correct order, so let's listen again. Quartz, water, Hole, fissure, clock. Quartz water hole, fissure clock. Yeah, apparently this age likes to crash also. I'm not surprised. Quartz water fissure, uh, uh, no, quartz water hole, fissure, no, quartz water fissure hole clock. I remember the hole is fourth. Climb that dark ladder. And now the sky's pink. Yeah, don't don't question this age. It's it's weird. I mean, it's interesting, but it's kind of weird. Beautiful shading. <laughs> I mean, what? Uh, so let's just wander yonder, and now. I mean, I've never heard a train here, but we need quartz. Quartz. Water fisher. Hole and then clock. I don't think that's a clock. I think that's a clock. 
lock. That was not the clock. Let's try that as the clock. sounds like. I swear that sound wasn't even on there. if you get it right. <laughs> I know it does. Uh, let's go backtracking again. Am I crazy? Quartz, water, coal, fissure. Okay. I am crazy. Fissure was fourth and it was the wrong clock. Now everything is white. Yeah, this this place is weird. wanted the game to crash. <laughs> Gee. Yeah, apparently save often in this place too. I've never had it crash this much. Now fortunately for us, we can just grab the page, and now that we know the answer to this puzzle, we can just solve it without having to go through all the other hubble books. Unfortunately, there's a handy exit button. So, welcome to your doom. I really don't like this place. And then suddenly something jumps out of your front. No, welcome to your submarine thing. Open sesame, and uh, let's, let's uh, save. Remember the mines in the tunnel? This is a big ol' underground maze that is very confusing and annoying to navigate. I could draw a map for you, but I'll just show you the simple way. I do not have the maze memorized, but I don't need to because there is one simple trick which you can solve to always solve the maze. And that trick is always to go as much to the, uh, right as you can. So... So that is backwards, so... This is the rightmost one we can go. So we go this way. Uh, 
so now we just turn around. Okay, so now we've got a path here so we can just follow this path. We always want to go right. And eventually we just go into a loop. It's, it's weird and really dumb. Forward counts, by the way. Okay, so here we want to go here. There's a handy backtrack button, but it's not really necessary. There's also a handy compass to help you keep your direction, but if you just follow the simple trick, you will never get lost. Okay, so forward it is. If you hit the backtrack button, it'll automatically just turn you around and make you go backwards through the uh, route you last, like, through the tunnel you last came from. So it can be very handy if you've gotten lost. But I'm a pro and I don't need those, those things. I remember this. I've drawn a few maps of this place over the ways, and I remember going southeast, di southwest rather diagonally. Now we should be used to go sh due west, for our call. Yeah, due west. And then we go northwest, I believe. Or maybe just north. Just due north. Northwest. Then the next we go due north. So only a few more junctions after this. We're getting near the end. Yeah, like I said, this is a very annoying uh, maze. Page, and you're not going to see any of this slide. 
So the red page is just on top of the quartz thing. But now you're not going to see any of the return trip, because seriously, once is bad enough. Definitely for us, this thing somehow magically teleports back uh, to where we uh, need it, just like that elevator in Channelwood. Somehow I went the wrong way, so we'll demonstrate what happens if you hit the backtrack button. So we just, yeah, so, hit the backtrack button, and it automatically orients you, and backwards away you go. So yeah, and we're done through this place again. <clears throat> now with a blue page. 100% more blue page. I swear those walls with their red cyclops eye like stare will haunt you in your nightmares. Also this thing too. It, it, it's a weird thing. But uh, yeah, that's the red page. And now we're gonna go back to the aisle. And before we crash, I'm fully expecting it again. That would be awful. But no. We, uh, give the red guys a page, and we are gonna listen to what they say, uh, next episode, which will also be our last, or at least the first game, at least. So yeah.